Hi, Dr. Weldon here again, shoulder and elbow surgeon. Today we're going to be talking about olecranon bursitis and one method of treating it, the wrap. Now, olecranon bursitis is when the, the bursa on the back of the elbow, right along here, becomes swollen. Most of the time it becomes swollen from something minor like a small trauma or an injury, but sometimes it can become swollen from rubbing on an armrest of a car or at your desk too much. Regardless, when it swells up, it can become quite swollen, such as the size of a golf ball or even a tennis ball. Most of the time, olecranon bursitis is not an emergency. The exception to that is if it gets infected. If it gets infected, you gotta go to the emergency room or go see your doctor. But if it's not infected, it still can be annoying to people. It can be unsightly, it can get in the way, it can be uncomfortable when they're resting their arm. For that reason, many people come to seek treatment for that. And one of the treatments that's the least invasive, that tends to work very well, is the wrap. In order to do the wrap, or the idea behind the wrap, is to put gentle pressure on the olecranon bursa and the fluid inside so the fluid goes back into the system, not in the bursa. And one method of doing that is to employ a simple ace wrap. The ace wrap is to be wrapped around the elbow, starting with the Velcro, not on the flexion side and not on the extension side, as such. This can be done by a single person, or a little easier if they had some help, like I'm doing here. Now each wrap adds a little bit more tightness, so no one wrap should be pulled tight like that, just nice and gentle. Now, once the wrap is on, you'll know if it's too tight if the hand swells up. So you look at the structures of the hand and see if there's if the veins start to become more prominent or if the hand becomes swollen. If the hand becomes swollen, then you loosen the wrap. Now, if you put it on too loose, it won't do anything and it will slide off the arm. So it has to have some pressure, but not enough pressure to cause the hand to swell. Once the wrap is on, it should be left on 24-7, so you sleep with it, for six weeks. Obviously, you can come out of the wrap anytime you want in order to shower, but then you dry off and put the wrap back on. Also, it's a little difficult for a single person to put this on with just one hand. Um, they do make Velcro versions of this, and they sell them at various drugstores. People have had great results with that as well. I hope you find this video interesting. Thank you very much.